Well, the chief executive of MediaWorks, a TV and radio business that owns brands like TV3 and More FM, The Edge, has resigned. And Damien Venuto, our online business editor, is here to tell me a little bit about why Michael Anderson has stepped away. Well, it's all pretty uncertain at the moment. The announcement only came out this morning. He hasn't spoken to the media yet. All we have are the official statements from MediaWorks. And as you would expect, those are quite dry at the moment. But if you look stock answers, basically. yeah, Spend yeah, time with the family, that kind of thing. If you look at what MediaWorks is and what it's set to become in the uh, in the coming weeks, um, you have an indication of maybe he's lo he's ready to pass the baton on to someone else because MediaWorks has been trying to sell its TV arm for quite some time, and they're saying that that sale is going to go through within the next few weeks. And if that happens, a big part of what Michael Anderson was brought in to do no longer exists within that business. So you have to question whether he maybe doesn't see that as a good reason to leave. And I guess if it's being split off into pieces, right, you're a chief executive of a smaller business and maybe one that you didn't have any passion on anyway, if it's being sort of subsumed by someone else. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's every possibility that he came in to run a TV business, TV is being um, shaved off, handed on to somebody else, maybe he still wants to run a TV business, or maybe he's found something else that he really likes the sound of. In saying that, that, that TV business is a hot mess, right? Tons of debt accrued in the last year, and, and things not really looking up for it's, it. It's long been the, 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 the part of MediaWorks that has struggled, so they've been trying to get rid of it for quite some time, and we've seen that media businesses are not easy to sell in this market. It took ages for stuff to sell when stuff eventually sold it was one dollar. Yeah. Um, the Bauer magazine still lying in a pile somewhere. Yeah. Everyone's waiting for a sale to come through. We don't know what's going to happen. There's so many questions in New Zealand media at the moment. We could be looking at a future where a, whole, where a whole handful of media companies have new owners within the next few months. So the face of New Zealand media is going to change completely. Or they go away altogether, I suppose, right? Like well, with the listener, we don't know what's going to happen there. So there, there are so, so many questions how, up in the air. How much of this is due to COVID, right? And, and I suppose, what does it mean for the viewer? If you think of TV3, we know a lot of their reality shows were supposed to be in production. And I suppose that was what makes TV3 a New Zealand TV channel, because otherwise it's just importing stuff from overseas, right? So we've seen a decline in advertising over a number of years, right? But what COVID did was it ex accelerated those trends. So whereas media companies could slowly shave off a few people here, shave off a few people there, what we've seen during COVID is that the luxury of time no longer exists for these companies, so that they've had to make decisions way faster than what they previously would have. And that's put enormous pressure on the businesses, and it's put pressure on the staff who kind of have all the uncertainty at the moment. Yeah, speaking of, of the staff, the TV business was kind of we were told safe by Anderson right while he was trying to hock it off if you will people didn't have to take the mass layoffs that for example the radio side of the business got and stuff like that and they, they felt like there was a sense that Michael was trying to hold things together and maybe calm some of those shareholders and say not yet not yet we're trying to sell it I suppose this becomes infinitely more uncertain for many of those employees. Yeah, so it always seemed there, there, there was a bit of an uneasiness with the, the cuts coming from the radio side and the sales side because the radio side had long carried that business. Yeah. So if, to hear that 130 people were being cut from the radio side of the business, it always looked like, what, what are they doing? And the reality is it's because they're trying to sell the TV business as it is because there are some really valuable properties there. The news, for ex example, in the evening, incredibly popular with advertisers and it remains an important um, source of revenue. It's just expensive to make. TV is really, really expensive to make. And 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 I guess the other question as well, obviously you've got the digital transition as well, which means who, who wants to buy this kind of thing? Who wants to own a TV channel? I'd probably say um, the, the one company that's been linked to this deal for quite some time is Discovery. Okay. Uh, MediaWorks hasn't come out and uh, offered any comments, but sources have suggested that the, a deal um, with Discovery is on the cards and that they could be, it could be finalised within the next few weeks. And they've been doing a buying spree in New Zealand, right? They bought Choice TV, exactly. HGTV in there as well, and they own so much overseas content because they're an American company. They bought Scripps, and, and, and those were two of the biggest sort of yeah. cable American networks in, in, in the US coming together. So is there a sense, though, that the TV3 of tomorrow, once it does get sold, will be a much leaner, much meaner oh, machine. Any time you bring in a new owner, they're going to be looking at how they can make it more efficient, make it a bit more suitable to their bottom line. And if you have a company that has been making a loss, you have to imagine that a new owner isn't going to be as open to that loss as the previous owners would be. Yeah, right. Damien Venuto, the online business editor. Thank you very much. We'll watch uh, with bated breath. I suppose it's sort of a really interesting change that's going right throughout throughout the industry as well. You said one dollar for stuff, so the struggles are real. Breaking news throughout the day at nzterror.co.nz. We'll be here as well on Facebook Live. Bye for now.